Let's take a look at this example. This time we're supposed to find ICQ and VCEQ. So the very first thing which I'm going to do, I'm going to draw the voltage sources, okay, in order to make this analysis a little bit simpler, okay. So this is my VCC, this is my positive terminal, this is negative, and this is going to be my VEE, this is my positive terminal, this is negative, this is my VEE. Okay, now the connection between these two voltage sources is my ground. And I suppose to remember that the current is going to go from VEE through the ground, from the ground will go to the base, and is going to go to the emitter. That's why I'm going to have negative sign over here. Why I'm talking about this? Because I have to find first voltage VE. Voltage VE is the voltage between the emitter and the ground. Okay, so next I'm supposed to use KVL and simply write that VE is nothing else, just negative VBE. Okay, because I see negative sign and uh, voltage VBE is equal to 0.7 volts approximately, so I can find very easy VE. So this is negative 0.7 volts. Next, in order to find IC, I suppose to find the current which goes through resistor R3. So, in order to do so, I suppose to find the voltage across resistor R3. So, V R3 is equal, nothing else, just VE, okay, voltage at this point. Keep in mind that this uh, voltage is equal to the voltage at the emitters minus VEE, okay, where VE is negative 0.7 volts minus VEE, which is equal negative 12 volts. This is equal. So I'm going to write VR3. This is also called VRE is equal to 11.3 volts. Okay, so this is the voltage across resistor R3. Next, I'm supposed to find the current which goes through resistor R3. I R3 is equal to I R E. Okay, in some books we are going to find the the, the name I R E. So this is the current which goes through this resistor. Or some books are going to say this is I T tail current. Okay, so I'm going to simply write that this is equal V R3. I'm going to use Ohm's law because I know the voltage across this resistor and the resistance of this resistor where VR3 we found is equal 11.3 volts over R3, which is equal 220 kilo ohms. This is equal. I have calculators. I have 11.3 divided by 220 exponent 3 equals 51.36 microamps. Okay, so I found the current which goes through this resistor. Next, I'm supposed to find the currents which will go through the emitter. So I can say this is my IE1 and this is my IE2, where IE1 is equal to IE2. And this is nothing else, just half of my tail current. So I can say that this is I R three divided by two. This is equal fifty one point thirty six microamps divided by two. Okay, this is equal fifty one point thirty six exponent six negative divided by two is equal twenty five point sixty eight microamps. Next you're supposed to realize that the base current base current is very small comparing with the current which goes through the 
collector of each transistor and emitter. That's why I'm going to assume that I C1 is approximately to equal to IE1 and this is equal 25.68 microns and also I'm going to write that I C2 is approximately equal to I E2 which is equal also 25.68 microamps. In general we say that I E is approximately equal to I C where I E represents my I E1 and I E2 and I C represents I C1 and I C2. Okay, so we can say that I C Q is equal I C and this is equal 25.68 microamps. This is basically what the problem is asking me for I C Q. Next, I suppose to find V C E Q. In order to find V C E Q, I have to find V C first. V C is equal V C C minus I C times R C where VCC is equal 12 volts minus IC we found is equal 25.68 microamps times RC in our case RC is equal 150 kilo ohms so I have 150 kilo ohms and this is equal Again, I'm going to use the calculator. So I have 12 minus 25.68 exponent 6 negative times 150 exponent 3. This is equal 8.14 volts. Okay, 8.14 volts is the voltage between the collector of each transistor and the ground. Okay. So but the problem is asking me to find VCEQ. So I'm supposed to write the formula that VCE is equal in this case VCEQ. Okay, and this is nothing else, just the difference of voltages VC and VE. Where VC is equal 8.14 volts and minus VE. VE we found is equal negative 0.7 volts. So I simply write this is negative 0.7 volts over here, right? So this is equal 8.84 volts. We found ICQ, we found VCEQ, so we can say that the problem is solved.